Hey, Zane Griggs here. So, did you know that our vitamin D production is directly linked to the levels of LDL cholesterol in our system? That's right. The demonized LDL cholesterol is actually, uh, you know, in our in our skin, combined with uh, UV exposure or sunlight, creates vitamin D in our system. And vitamin D is actually much, much more like a hormone than a vitamin. But if you if you look at them. And their molecular structure, cholesterol and vitamin D are very similar. They're almost almost identical. Um, and so LDL then demonized quite a bit uh, as a, as a as a negative nutrient. But it's actually, you know, it's food for our neurons in our brain, and it's it's very important for the for vitamin D production. And so uh, artificially low um, or LDL cholesterol kept artificially low, like through drugs, statins, uh, can actually lead to a vitamin D deficiency. And a vitamin D deficiency isn't just, you know, about having soft bones and a, and a higher risk for, for rickets and, and, you know, brittle bones. But um, it's also linked to um, dementia through conditions like diabetes, depression, heart disease. So vitamin D can affect all of those things. And yet, and, we, and by, by lowering our LDL cholesterol, we're actually increasing our risk for those conditions because of the lack of vitamin D. Now, uh, as I mentioned, um, LDL is food for the neurons in our brain. LDL is a, is a carries the particles of cholesterol to the neurons in our brain where they, they, they pretty much feed on that cholesterol and cholesterol coats the, uh, the, all the neurons, the synopsis, it improves the uh, synopsis connections in our brain, but it coats all the nerves, okay, the myelin sheath around all our nerves, that's cholesterol. That's made of cholesterol. So we need fat and cholesterol in our diets. And that's why um, there's actually, a, you know, 2015, the Dietary Guidelines for Americans actually declared that uh, cholesterol was no longer a nutrient of concern. Okay? Why is it still demonized? Good question. Um, there's actually a, a UCLA researcher in this book, uh, Grain Brain, who actually... Uh, says that in case by case, uh, statins are uh, directly associated with, uh, with lower or negatively associated with, low, with, with uh, cognition levels. So they actually can lower cognition or brain function, okay? And, and there really isn't a case where it's actually, the, the statins have improved cognition. So it's really, it's, it's just showing to me that we, we need this cholesterol that's been demonized for so long. So. Um, if you're looking for some, you know, dietary advice, um, please message me. I know there should be a lot of questions about this. Uh, feel free to post them in the comments below. If you know someone that could benefit from hearing this, tag them below as well. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Talk to you later.